Hello everybody, today I have something ultimate to share with all of you. Probably the coolest bulb to ever show up on this channel. At least it's pretty up there in my standards here. So let's go ahead and see what it is. It's shiny, I can tell you that one. This is a 750 watt self-ballasted mercury vapor bulb. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, what is it? It is a wonderful Durotest Fluoromerc 750 watt, 120 volt reflector deluxe mercury vapor bulb. Look at how shiny this thing is. It's incredible. I didn't just get one of these. If I can talk today, I never can in any of these videos. I ended up getting three. This one has the best etch on it. We also have something written here on the base. So let's start down here before we take a look at the cool insides. Pretty standard mogul base. Obviously a heat reflector here. And the code we were taking a look at a second ago. The absolutely wonderful etch. I mean, just look at that. The amazing silvery coating. And let's take a look inside. Boy, look at that engineering. This bulb is not going anywhere. We have two filaments on either side. One two for ballasting the mercury vapor arc tube doesn't really want to focus on like the bottom there but we'll try our best just the construction of this is amazing i'm going to try turning off this light here and see if it allows us to focus any better So, of course, we have a phosphorus coating on the inside. That's where we get the deluxe white from. Let's set that back down. Let me turn this light back on. Preheat. So, what, are, what do we have to compare this to? Well, here is a standard A19 bulb. It's a LED, naturally. Everything is nowadays, but still the same size. I mean, yeah, it's bigger. What else do we have to compare it to? Well, we have this. I don't think this has ever shown up in a video. Another reflector flood. This one is a Philips Deluxe White Clean Beam Reflector. This is not self-ballasted. This does require a 400 watt mercury vapor ballast to be used. But... Uh, let's see if we can get a bigger angle here. There we go. You can see all the mess of the not-so-perfect towel. Anyway, you get a much better view of these two bulbs, and that's what's most important at the moment. Let's get them all about the same right here. Pretty cool. So, I do believe I found a um, catalog that had this particular bulb in it. I believe it is to replace a 1,000 watt incandescent. It was either 1,000 or 1,500. I think it was 1,000. Anyway, the, the whole intent here is to replace a incandescent bulb with a more efficient self-ballasted mercury vapor bulb. Of course, at this point in time, there wasn't anything like a PL adapter or CFLs. So this was the best energy saving alternative. To be honest, I don't remember the year of the catalog that I found this in, but I'm sure somebody out there will be able to date this. There's the etch again, and the number that's written on the base here at the uh, stem press. Yes, let's take a look at the bottom here as well. 
One thing that's hard to see um, is down in the center. You can kind of see it. Oh, it wants to switch cameras. There we go. You can see the electrode there in the middle. But look at that curved thing that's kind of behind it. That's kind of like the starting probe, to the best of my knowledge. But it's huge. So, obviously, we're going to turn this thing on. I'm not sure how I want to do it just yet. If I want to bring out a lamp or hang it uh, facing straight down, I think I'll put it into one of those three-way mogul base lamps. I think that'll be the best idea. I think we'll do it next door here in the little workout area because it's all painted white, and we'll get a nice view of uh, the beautiful color that I'm sure this thing will produce. So... I'll get all that set up and we'll get it turned on. Got one of these wonderful old floor lamps here. Picked this one up at Goodwill a while back for I think like $7. It looks like somebody already rewired it. I wired it again because I didn't like their connections. But this is what we will use to turn on the Floromerc. I have to say, that looks pretty awesome in this fixture. Okay, we got the camera set up here, looking right at the arc tube. I got the switch on on the fixture. I got the power strip over here and the meter so we can watch what it does. This is the first time turning it on. I hope that this socket actually can handle it because uh, the first setting isn't uh, a really good connection. Anyway, let's see what we get. Here we go. Well, we definitely have incandescent. Ooh, looks like we got an arc going. Look at that. That is awesome. Wow. Boy, this thing's putting off some heat. Even though there's not a ballast, definitely sounds like it has one. Okay, let's uh, take a look here. It's obviously still getting to full brightness. Let's uh, use the ultra wide angle lens in the room here. camera back and I'm sure it's got a little ways to warm up still so let's let it do that. We gotta be getting close to full brightness here. Maybe we're already at full brightness. I don't know how long it takes for these things to warm up, but I wanna take a look at it with my own eyes and I've only seen it here through the uh, camera. So I gotta get some sunglasses. So basically the phone overheated. It just, this bulb, like even like this far away is burning your hand. This thing is incredibly hot. I've never had my iPhone overheat before. This is the first time. I went and put it in front of the fan because I was scared that I was gonna break the thing. Um, but I got it cooled down again. Here we are making another video of the bulb. Um, take another glance inside. It has to be at full brightness now. It's definitely at full heat. Um, take a look through the bottom here. 
more view of the top. Boy, that thing is hot. Even this far away, the thing is incredibly hot. Totally awesome though. Beautiful mercury vapor color. Let's get that wide angle action going. And uh, there's the, the little workout area my friend uses for working out. Lit up by a 750 watt mercury vapor bulb. Let's see here. We have 732 watts, power factor of pretty much one. We're pulling 6.4 amps on 117.1 volts. This thing is a beast. Wow. Well, I'm glad I got a video of it warming up because I'm definitely not gonna do that again. And it lights up this room really well. I mean, if we turn on these other lights, they barely do anything except light up the areas that aren't already lit up. What an awesome bulb. With the camera a little further away this time, let's go ahead and turn it off. Look at that cool down. Goodness, that was hot. Boy, it's taking its time too. That is awesome. I really do hope you enjoyed this video of this amazing Duratest 750 watt self-ballasted mercury vapor bulb. I think this thing is absolutely awesome and I hope you did too. Also, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe and thank you very much for watching.